Hello and welcome back. This is Emmanuel Mendu. So in this video, we will be checking on um, some properties of the list list class in C sharp dot net. So in my last video, I, I explained you how the distinct work and the sort method works. So I will get it of this one. So this time I'll go integer list of integers. So I will initialize um, data here. Get rid of this one. So here um, I'll be will be looking some of the properties of uh, properties capacity and count. So just consider this data is a list of integer. I will add a few integer values. So say numbers, I'll say 100. So here I will, I will try to display the capacity and count. So I'll get rid of this from past uh, previous example. Okay, capacity is plus data dot. So just capacity property. Uh, same same with uh, count. So when you when you try to run this from the solution, so it will display you the data the capacity and the count has same because we have four four capacity and four count. Let's see. Okay, so you see that uh, capacity is four and count is four. That is the memory of the data and the count is actual count. So now if you if you try to increase more here, let's see, four, five, and now if I try to display the capacity and count, so you can see like, so the count the capacity increased to eight. So it the uh, the data list it resized with multiple memory. So it will so it will um, it is resizing to that one and the count is six. So the capacity always like it it resizes the list of uh, integer memory. Okay, so that is the difference between the capacity and the count. So that's all from this video. Thank you so thank you so much for watching. Um, have a good day. Bye.